on this video i'm going to be showing you through like before i even start let me tell you that this video that i'm going to be making is like a, the most requested video from you guys out there from my tiktok or my instagram or my whatsapp a lot of you all has been asking me i fashion how you wrap your hijab how you wrap your scarf in tutorial or how you do this and that and as a good girl that i have i am listening to you guys right now so you all should do me a favor liking my video make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you drop a comment and share to your friends and family i love you all so let's get into it guys <laughs> so basically oh so basically guys before we get into it i would need to let you all know something in this tutorial that i'll be making i'm just going to be following some rules and regulations i'm going to tell you my hijabs, the hijabs that I'm going to be showing you, even though I use some styles on other times, I'm not going to be showing you those styles because they do not go with the, like, the rules and regulations of hijab. And because I did, it doesn't mean it is right. So I'm going to be showing you the right way. A good hijab has to cover your bosom like this, it has to cover your bosom, it has to cover your leg. So those are the styles that you should be expecting a perfect hijab style. So let's get into it, guys. So basically guys, for this tutorial, you'll be needing three or two basic things. Although I I, I have a lot of pins, I'm not going to lie, but I, I'm not a fan of pins. I hate when I want to perform a brochure that will hook this, or hook this, or hook that everywhere. But once in a while, I use, like most cases, I, li I like pins because they hold my chap very well. But I'm not a fan, so I basically just use two at most. But this one is just like a fashion brush to hold your hijab and to it very nicely. So you can get this from a lot of brands. You can get it from Pyres from HD Closet. Yeah, I think HD Closet gave me this. Pyres has it. A lot of brands out there has it. Has it. Used to be, can you see it? This particular brush beautifies the hijab. You just hold it. So getting into it. Into it. Into it. It. Why am I saying it though? Getting into it, bro. So, obviously, I'm just using it. I'm just using this inner because I want to be making a tutorial. This is for you all that are doing tutorial up there too. And you want to show us your hijab tutorial. You are opening your leg. Look for an inner hijab like this. I'm just put it on the left. I don't think it's fine. So, you need your scalp. No, no, no. The first style. Hmm? I'm not really good at teaching it like that. I'm just going to try my best. I have like four to five, but the first style, this is like the most common style for everyone. Where you bring your scarf like this. This is your scarf. Then you bring, bring it on your head like this. Boom. Can you see that? You try to use your hand to form this shape. Can you see? This shape used to make the end be very very firm then you try to use your hand to form the shape can you see tighten it very well because this thing used to be loose tighten it then you bring this one up this is like very very simple to do then you bring this one up it depends on how you want it so people like it like this place longer so you should have calculated the long the length from here if you like it longer then this place will be more longer can you see that so I think I like it longer than two. So we'll be having something like this. I don't want to waste time. For this style, you might even be needing just one. when the scalp is too transparent can you see then you hold it that way this way when you get to this down let me let me let me make more emphasis here when you get to this stage you have like three styles that you can run is that you bring your scalp like this 
bring that one to the back and have this bowl. Don't forget, you have to cover your face. You can see how it's tissue. So, this is it. You can either have this towel or you bring the one that you brought here. Bring it here. Can you see? I, I use this towel most of the time. Please take pay attention so that you don't come and ask me again. You now bring this one. This one that is at the back here. Is the one you'll be using to form a V shape. Can you see? You bring this in. From here, you will need another pin. You will need another pin. Then this pin, you use it to hold here. To hold this one here to your clothes. This is going to be covered. Trust me. I hope I'm showing you what I'm supposed to show you. So you have your v-shape this way. That is when you will now use your your fashion nozzle. This then you put it inside. Can you see that? Then you try to make this place smooth. I'll show you like two stars that way. The other normal star and this way. This dish. Can you see? This is the project. So this is like my most loved style too. I like this style a lot because it's not doing too much here and it's covering here for me. This is for somebody that is putting on a buyer or something like big like this. And also, baby, they're putting on things that are tight. You cannot use this this way, it's on you. So, this is like one style, then another style. Just this time. You can just leave your using this scarf is not that hard, I swear. So you can just leave it like this. I like this style a lot because it used to give me like the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> is it this style? Yes. I'm not so sure. But you can just leave it like this. You don't want to bring it. Just leave it like this. <laughs> what vibe is it giving you? My own brass yeah, and that's what she used to call it. My ear. Take me, take me. So, guys, it's as simple as that. I just hope I'm doing the video right because most cases, it's after I'm done. Like the last towel, I want to get you out bright. Let me tell you something about using stuff. Many times I've put styles on myself. Just be creative. Like you know, like you need to be creative that requires too much of them. When you are using your scarf, immediately you lay it on your head. A lot of things will be coming to your head. Like sometimes you might be using it this way before. Try this way. Do it like this. Do it like this. Do it like this. Just to be creative. It's not something, it's not anything hard. Don't just be using this scarf anyhow, but be creative with it. For this last towel, what you just need to do is you need to pin it in. You first pin it, you need to pin it in. Sometimes I like my scarf to stay this way. Can you see? Like this. I like to have something so padded. So, after having this, having it this way, you could 
now bring this particular hand under this like this. Under. Can you see? Do we have this under? Bring this in. Can you see? For some people, this is okay. Whenever I want to use my scarf, I do use it. Is there anything that comes that I'll just do? I'm not stagnant with it. Can you, did you get me? I'm not stagnant with it. You have to be creative. Can you see? You are good to go. And you can just bring it like this. So, leave it here. This is like this. Can you see? You can do a lot of things with your scarf. guys i think that will be all for today basically i know this is not perfect like really really perfect but please help me to like my video subscribe to my youtube channel please guys subscribe to my youtube channel share to your families and friends i love you all. guys i'll see you in the next one bye uh, you, you, you.